All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another episode of God's Raid. Today, we're going to be looking at some campaign. We're going to be doing some upgrading and hopefully doing some island stuff instead of just reset. And we're going to go in and check it all out now. I don't think much has changed since our last iteration. We're at level 59 on most of our heroes. We're about to get to 59 with my priest, so everyone will be even across the board. We should be able to get to level 60 today once I basically finish this i'll just auto on campaign and we'll be able to start moving forward now we did get into what stage two five i believe right in campaign so we're trying to move forward in here i don't know if there was a fight that we couldn't beat yeah this was where we got stuck is on here because this bear is really hard to beat apparently so Essentially, we have to try and figure out a way to save up all of our power in order to get through the bear uh, for the final fight. Because if we don't kill the bear fast, jumps in and basically one shots my entire team, which kind of sucks. So we're going to see how this goes. We're going to try and save all of our skills through the first area because the bear lady, I didn't even know she was that strong. Well, I'll be completely honest here. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, got, it, get, it gets a little rough in here. Uh, we're going to try and get through this quickly. I want to save stuff if I can, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. Yeah, all right, so that back hero is dead. We're going to have to use this to kill one of the gorilla guys. I have a feeling we're going to have to use this, unfortunately. These guys have a lot of HP, so it gets real rough real quick. We'll try to save up some energy for the next fight. These uh, The Sasquatches are rough. I think I think we're gonna run out of time on this one. We might we'll see how it goes. We're gonna we're gonna play it out. We're gonna get all of our energy back. Hopefully we can kill that freaking bear that comes up. So when we get full, we may end up okay. We're gonna we're gonna hold it. This is still the first fight, and we're already at a minute and a half because these guys have too much HP. But we're gonna use the fire to take out this this bear, and hopefully kill her fast. We're going to use this to try to get some poisons going. Oh, we lost our hero, so I think that's going to be a wash. Yep, and we lost the secondary. Let's go again. Retreat. Like I said, this is a real rough fight. I, it's It sucks. It takes a lot of... They have a ton of HP. It's not fun. Let's put it that way. It's crazy to me that this is actually how it was in Chaos before they even upgraded. So before people could even get to 7-star. This is already... This is still hard, even at... Almost, you know, maxed on on six star. So we'll see. We're gonna save up our skills and try to kill these guys a little bit quicker this time. I think what we're gonna do is use our shield right at the right off the cuff in the first fight. And then as soon as we get into the first fight, but we're gonna use the flame. There we go. We use this to get through these guys, and then we'll use the poison again, like we did last. Okay, so now see that went a lot quicker. We were able to take that guy down. I don't even think we're going to need to use the poison, maybe. I don't think they heal, do they? We'll save this. We're going to use the arrow, maybe. No, we're going to save it. We need to save it. Luckily, if we kill him, the baby dies. So they're going to all focus on him. All right, so we got that. So now we're going to use the shield this time. Unfortunately, we kind of have to because we die too quickly. Those arrows that she throws freaking murder us. We're going to use this so no one heals. And it'll start dropping HP. We need to start killing these guys. We're going to use this to kill one of these guys out of our face. There we go. Hopefully it's enough. We need to start healing. Because she's going to turn into the bear very soon. And if that happens, we are screwed. All right. Oh, there we go. Bear killed my orc. Exactly what I didn't want. You see what I mean? Literally one hero is just ruining this fight. One hero. <laughs> <laughs> all right so he's dead now we're going to try and hopefully kill these guys quickly with the fire we're going to use the healing drop so that people will die quickly hopefully we can kill something quickly we're going to take these little tank guys out one by one there's one down there we go now we got to survive she's going to start healing she hits stupid hard look at that my healer is now dead and then she one-shots my whole team. So basically, this is going to be a fight that we don't beat for a while. Um, it looks like this one's a little ridiculous. <laughs> All right. So there you go. We're just going to have to, once again, start grinding again to get through campaigns. So that's where we're stuck. It's a 562,000 power fight. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's chaos for you, I guess. So let's go into challenge. Let's go into the islands. We finished the island prologues. We're trying to get more hammers is really what we're trying to do here uh i think this was the easier one this one 
because we have beast and we have was it beast and orc so we can put her in the lead we can put him in as a damage dealer and we can bring in someone as a healer uh maybe we'll let's just bring her even though they don't have any gear we'll see if it's enough let's see if we can bang these out in three stars i don't know if we can do it with three heroes all the way through i don't remember honestly these fights are very you know weird it goes back and forth but we haven't done this since we got our six star versions so i'm assuming we should be fine but then again this game you know how it works hundred thousand power team kills five hundred thousand power team so you never know what you're up against until you actually fight it unfortunately boom look at that dead Killing everybody. Luckily, we're moving forward. <laughs> Basically, we're trying to get another hammer. I was going to save up for more summons, but I was like, you know what? I would much rather just have my hammers so we can start working on starring up our gear. Um, during the events is when I'm going to focus on the gods. I may even say screw it this time and not focus on gods and go just get literally HP potions. I mean, some EXP potions the whole time because we're going to have to get to 70 and we got to start working our way up to 80. So I think the best option at this point is just level up as fast as we can. We have a ton of legendary hero shards in the, in the bank right now. So we should be able to upgrade a few. We did get, I think, three or... I forgot how many pieces of that little human one so we have enough we have 10 there and we should be able to buy i think another 10 of the legendary upgrade gems from the arena shop pretty soon so that'll give us at least two heroes that we can you know get to 80 or i mean to a seven star i think once we get i mean obviously once we get them to 80 it's going to be a much different story i mean we're talking what 20 sorry we got 10 almost 90 levels we're getting plus an ascension so it's like a lot's going to happen and then we're going to be getting a bunch of the uh what is that uh training manuals so hopefully we can get some crit rate going and we may even consider just resetting a few of my heroes and not reset like the whole hero but just their trainings and trying to get some better trainings unfortunately it is all based on luck and we have tons of gems, so we have enough gems to basically, you know, do whatever we want with resets. But at this point, do I really think that's going to change my game by resetting someone? Probably not. Well, good. And we're going to get some upgrade stones, which is good. We need all the upgrade stones we can get so we can start pushing. I already failed, I think, on an, a level 11 weapon to go to level 12. I already failed on, I think, three golden hammers, legendary hammers. So basically, what is that like? About 15 times we tried, and we got zero upgrades. This game really likes to push the boundaries on pissing people off. <laughs> I can see why a lot of a lot less people are playing it now. I'm I, I was I was hopeful before that it was gonna get better, but I'm like I'm gonna hold off like really shitting on this game until I get to 80 and see how much harder chaos is. Because if I'm honest, I don't really give a crap if we get through chaos one through five that's just extra crap so really just beating chaos is where i want to i want to see if beating chaos is at least reasonable without spending money in this game next and if it keeps going on the path it's going i have a feeling this game's going to fall apart but i mean they're up they're they're basically speeding through it very quickly like it's a very it's a very speed advanced like all right, as far as how games progress, like you usually don't add levels like that for like possibly like a year. You know what I mean? At least a year. And this one released this year, right? And at least for not the beta, like the regular released this year. And they're already upgrading, you know, stars and ascensions on gear, like things that normally wouldn't pop up if a game was built correctly from the beginning. So it looks like they kind of spent a lot of time on the graphics and the, the combat, but they kind of fell off a little bit on other stuff. So there shouldn't be a reason that these fights are as hard as they really are right now. 
at least the earlier fights, like they just shouldn't be this hard. So I think that's kind of where this game is going to end up falling apart. And it's, it's sad because I do like the game and I really think it should continue to keep going. But I have a feeling we're going to start looking elsewhere for other games. There's a few other games that are coming out now, and I'm hoping that they're going to be just as fun. We're going to keep playing this one. But there's not much to do at this point. I mean, we have been progressing, at least on the videos. So it's good that we're only going to be doing two videos a week. But it's the progression is stupid slow. Like, if you are not if you are not playing this game on auto every single day, like just letting it run in the morning, because that's what I do. I just put it on auto to level my heroes in the morning. And then I'll whatever EX, whatever energy I have left, I do in the maze. So it's like I don't really play the game every day as far as, like, enjoying it and playing it. It's mostly on auto. And the only time we actually play and kind of really have fun with it is, like, days like this where we're trying to, you know, actually beat things, beat things that are coming up. Let's use a shield. Boom, look at that. And he's dead. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> My orc is getting up there, though. I actually will be very excited once I start having 200k, uh, 200k orc. I may even consider, you know, resetting somebody and bringing in that mythical hero. It's possible that that could help the account greatly. It's conceivable. It also would give me a bonus to attack, which is something that I'm like considering. I don't really want to go too crazy, though. That's the problem. Because I know how much it's going to take to get resources to actually upgrade her. You know what I mean? To get her to the point where she's really strong. But I have a... I mean, if I get, if I get real serious on this game and decide to like, you know, do some resets and stuff, it's possible. I mean, I have a lot of EXP. Like, if I reset every hero that I have to level 60 right now, not only would that give me a ton of gold, but, it, I mean, it would hurt me in the long run because I feel like resetting all those guys wouldn't help me in here. You know what I mean? Like, because these are the areas where I'm getting extra stuff. So we kind of want to not do that kind of thing. I'm hoping, I'm hoping and praying. <laughs> we don't have to do that. But if we get to a point where I'm starting to get frustrated with the game, which I'm not frustrated yet, it's just, like I said, I just don't I don't play it like I play other games. I don't get in there and I'm like, oh, let's do this today. Like, I just say, oh, I guess I'm putting that on auto while I shower today. You know what I mean? So it just depends on how you look at it and what you're trying to accomplish. Now, we're going to use a shield. I don't know if we're on the third wave or not, but we're going to kill that guy. All right, so that was not the third wave. We are on the second. So hopefully this will... It'd be nice if we had Duke for this because he's a lot stronger. We're probably going to have to sit here and wait for Poseidon to pop up again. Because remember, we're trying to do this with three heroes only. We don't want to do this with anything less. All right, so there we go. Looks like we're waiting for Poseidon. They actually killed more than I anticipated. There you go. Now he's down to nothing. He should be dead. Luckily, time does not matter in the islands. All right, we're good. It'd be nice if they just did the crit rate as not a number and as a percentage. I would like that. I would like something to make it a little easier to see what you're actually getting from things. All right, this is zone nine. So we've got one more fight after this. We actually blew through that pretty quickly. The islands are, are not that bad in the beginning. I remember this. But like I said, we also gained. I mean, I had my, I think when we first got here, my orc was like 100, 110,000 maybe tops. So he's gained almost 50K power from just like playing and leveling and all that crap so oh there goes there goes my uh healer from duke but i had to save it luckily we don't we're allowed one death i think two deaths actually here we go say good night to duke hopefully it's enough there you go one hit isn't it funny how some bosses die in one hit and some can't die for a week <laughs> I'm bitter on this game. It's funny. <laughs> I would say that I would say it's, I wouldn't call it bitter. I would just say I'm I find it amusing how how poorly how poorly balanced the game is. It's like literally the only gripe I mainly have about this game is the is the shitty balance they have. Some heroes literally just block everything that you throw at them, and then other enemies literally have zero HP as you just saw and die in one hit. And now you're gonna spend 20 minutes fighting this guy just because they want you to. to you know, make run the time out. I find it interesting. These guys are dying. Get in there. 
I actually, funny enough, started playing uh, Final Fantasy fourteen again. I was like, you know what? Let me get into that again. I, it's not something I would ever stream, probably. I mean, if unless I was like bored and I, and I was doing this full time, yeah, I would stream it. But like, that would just be for funsies. But it is, I forgot how much fun it is to just kind of relax and craft in that game. This game's high stress, at least on the days that I'm trying to beat things. Who is this? Oh, it's that guy that does the... He gets crazy, I think, right? When he gets his skill, so we got to kill him fast. He does, like, one hits and stuff. Too bad he's dead. 82,000, I'll take it. We definitely need some crit damage, I'll tell you that much. We got to start... We have to probably just spend a day just working on that kind of stuff. All right, so what do we got? Do we get another hammer? Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get Duke's weapon leveled so that I can... So have him start doing some crazy damage. We want more damage. Oh, okay, 200 and 300. That's not bad. I'll take that. All right, so let's see. Exchange. Uh, we're going to get... Yeah, see, I could get thumbs, but yeah, I'm not doing it. I want my weapon leveled. That is what I want. Exchange. Like, I don't care about anything else. I want, I want some weapons. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Mail? We get more stuff from... Yeah, nice. Clans. Clans are doing their job right now. All right, let's go back in here, hero. All right, Dookie. <laughs> That's, that sounded dumb. All right, Mr. Duke. Let's try one more time here. Let's see if we get anything out of this. Oh, we got seven. That's crazy. Enhance. All right, we're just, you know, we're just going to do max. I, I don't care. Seven times. Let's see if seven tries is enough to get me one. See, not even one. All right, well, there you go. That's uh, how this game effing sucks with upgrading gear. <laughs> Them's the breaks. Look at that. Seven upgrades, and we got not freaking one. I love it. Love, love, love it. The fact that we did these two is actually a shock to me that we got these to 13. It's kind of crazy. And I did have somebody ask me how you get it to 13. I mean, how you get your stuff ascended. Well, basically, you do what I just did. You fail hundreds of times for zero reason just because the game hates you. And then what you do is you level up your, your weapon to 13 eventually in two years or two months. And uh, then what you do is you sacrifice pieces. So like the ones that we did here, all right, we would enhance this. And then there's this Ascendance thing here. Once you get it to 13, it has to be 13. And you go to Ascendance, and then you just throw in old gear. All right, I usually use anything that's not plus all right i'll because when you're crafting gear to try to get plus gear that's where i'm at at this point i only keep plus gear now so we, we craft the gear and then all the crap that comes out that's not epic plus or not legendary plus we use that gear to feed into the into the star stuff now if you're really persistent you could probably do one of these a day uh as far as the legendary ones it's one every 10 months whenever they you know decide to let you actually upgrade something in this game so I would probably say, like, right now I'm just trying to get his weapon because it's fun. But I have a lot of these pieces already, 13, like my purple gear. I'm probably just going to start working on her because at least this is reasonable to work on. The legendary gear is not too reasonable, but still stronger than the regular gear, even at level 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the downside. Is that, like The legendary stuff, even though it sucks and it keeps breaking and it, it keeps it keep having to get these stupid hammers, it's... It's still better. I mean, this has look at well, look at this. This is level 10, right? So this is a level 10 weapon. It's got 604 attack. All right. Her stats, she's got so that's an extra, what is that? 170, 175 ish, 180 attack more at level 10 than this weapon. Now, if we're looking at a weapon that has, you know, that's maxed, I would say you would have to have this to 13 with all the stars for it to be comparable to this with the stats that you get from here however it is somewhat better if you can get some good stats on these because you might be able to you know just get all crit or do some things here where you can maybe more adjust your stats better rather than just only having three stats so it really just depends on what stat you're looking for and how you're trying to move forward either way these pieces aren't bad the five star purple stuff it's it's good stuff, but you can also then you have stuff like this. I mean, look at this. This one's insane. I mean, it's got a thousand attack versus that four hundred. You know, I've like got thirteen. I don't have a thirteen weapon. I wish I did. But I figure a thirteen plus purple weapon is going to have, you know, maybe six hundred if you're lucky, five hundred attack. So it's literally double the attack on this weapon right now versus that. So if you if you're wondering how people are killing you in the arena, it's because they spent a lot of money and then they did this, <laughs> or they're like me and they just keep grinding the same thing for you know two months 
And that's how I got these. Like, literally, these are the only two five-star legendary pieces I have over the however long we've been playing. I think it's been like three, four months now. So it's actually been a long time. So that's the only ones that we've got. It's two of them. I've got two. That's how long it takes to uh, waste your time on upgrading gear. And basically, that's it. I mean, we're kind of pushed forward on basically campaign is whenever we can we've gotten our stuff from the challenge from here we're going to work on tower i mean everything else is beaten we've beaten all the other stuff like the towers not the towers the uh the uh infinite not the infinite tower the uh the god's hall and everything in the maze like it's all beaten so we don't have to worry about those things anymore as far as beating them so now we just farm them because we can farm everything now on stage 20 like there's no problem there um yeah and we'll just keep leveling these guys up and hopefully we can get through chaos uh to get some at least some of these rewards would be nice uh, i think we're going to end this with one more try on this we're going to get one more good try in here see if we can get this freaking absolute god let's let's see if uh if tanks if this tank guy can go down ever it's tough it's a rough fight man this is this all depends on this first fight and how strong duke is which is why i'm so sh like hyped about getting duke's attack up all right we were able to kill that guy that's good it's the time frame that's that matters here we're trying to save stats while also saving time so now we're going to use this arrow to take him down faster boom hopefully it's enough it looks like this guy is going to be taking way too long to beat yeah he's going to heal oh he good he died thank god we're going to use this like these asses on fire. Oh my god. Duke missed everything on that. We're going to have to use this. Because we don't, we need at least like a minute. Like we're already too far. We need at least a minute to fight this boss. Because he takes too long. Alright. We're going to hopefully get a Poseidon here. Give me Poseidon to kill everything. I think the only way we're going to win this is if we have the attack up and Poseidon at the same time. All right, so now he's going to keep healing this guy over and over again because I don't know why they, sometimes it just doesn't work. Like, sometimes he just decides to not attack him. All right, this ain't going to work. All right, we'll end that. Well, there you go. Another annoying fight. What a surprise. <laughs> Another annoying tank fight. Um, like I said, I'm not too concerned about it. It's who gives a shit if we get it or not. It's It literally doesn't matter anymore. Um, we have plenty of gods. We're leveling. We're getting them from... I get... I Funny enough, I get gods from summoning the one summon every day more than everywhere else in this game. Uh, that's not true, actually. I get it from... Mostly from the challenge I was getting gods. We'll just go in here and it's a cloudscape. And we usually will exchange. I stopped doing that for a little bit just so I can get some hammers and things to start upgrading my gear because my gear was really bad. And uh, that's basically where we're at. If we start getting these heroes... You know, if we can get some stars on these guys, it would be nice. Unfortunately, I have two of them that are are still purple. Uh, Duke still at three. I mean, I think we actually have, funny enough, I think we actually just need one more for him. Let me see. Stats. Awakening. Nope, not awakening. This. Yeah, we, we only need one more pull of him, and we can upgrade him again, which is going to be a big help, because he is, he is a monster damage dealer when he actually hits things. Um, gods. No, we want heroes. Let's see. Do we have any fusions that we can do, maybe? Do I have? I have three. As you can see, we have a ton of legendaries down there now. Let me see. Hold on. Say there. And then we have two purples. All right. So we've got two purples. Now we need three more. But say we've got all of these legendary pieces down here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten. But we need, we need demon. We need orc, which we've got enough orc here to upgrade to 80 for my orc swordsman. We've got two beast, so that's good for my tank. And we've got one he one human, and we've got one demon, but I'm not counting this. So really, we just need demon and possibly a human. If I can get another human, that'll be great, because then I can save my... I have 10 pieces. I can save those shards for duke to get him to 80 and then really we'll just be sitting on banshee i guess that's fine i'm okay with that all right so yeah if you have any questions feel free to let me know if you guys are getting sick of this game or if you guys are still cool with it i mean you guys let me know i mean i i i like the game i like i love this game i just it just pisses me off that they're doing such stupid stuff to it and they're not fixing it like it's it's just it's it's upsetting to me because it's making the game frustrating for other people. I feel like I feel like they're losing a lot of players because nobody is cool with these crappy upgrades system where you sit here for like months trying to upgrade one effing weapon, you know, to 13 just to be competitive. And it's like I, I couldn't see anybody who wants to be competitive in this game 
spending more than 50 bucks before quitting the game because they're like, this isn't even worth my 50 bucks. So I don't know if they're going to fix that. I don't know if they're just trying to get a money grab out of this game and then, you know, shut it down. Who the hell knows? There's plenty of games like that, but hopefully they don't do that. It looks like they're progressing at a super fast uh, speed on this game. So I feel like maybe, maybe they are going that route. I mean, it, it kind of worries some, but they are doing a lot of updates. So there is that as well. Um, I'm not sold though yet. I was sold for a while, and uh, I'm starting to lose my hope for this game <laughs> because I feel like people aren't going to play it if it's this brutal as far as tank bosses and trying to get gear upgraded. Gear upgrading is supposed to be just time-consuming and fun, and you know it's like, oh, I got this cool thing. I fit. Like it, it's not fun. Like it's gear is not fun in this game, and neither are these tank bosses. Like they're just not fun at all, and you're going to be playing for. I mean, look, just as an idea, look at this. This is the last boss of the game on hell mode. I'm literally 120-something thousand power higher than this fight, and I cannot three-star it. You know what I mean? Like, who the, you know, made this, made that? Who whom thought that was a good idea? That you could literally be playing and be 100, almost... 25% stronger than the fight itself, and you cannot three-star it without, I mean, like, the balance on the heroes also, like, the, the mythical heroes are insanely higher in power. Not, And I know most games do that, but we're talking, like, literally insanely stronger. Like, it's ridiculous. I mean, look, look. <clears throat> we'll show you this. This is the stuff that I want everyone to see, because I want, you guys should say something, you know? Post up on their Facebook. Be like, yo, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> um, look at this. This is my Paladin, all right? She's level 60, basically. All right, seven, uh, six star. She's so 59, six star. She's got all this gear on her, all right? So that's 71,000 power. All right, now, I mean, this might not be comparable, but whatever. Let's look. This is my Bryn. She is four star, level five. She has level seven purple gear. She doesn't even have her three pieces she doesn't have really much training at all i think she has a yeah here we go a couple trainings here all right and she has two stars all right versus my two on the other here so they're pretty close she's fifty-two thousand power if i got her to the same level she would be well over a hundred plus thousand it's kind of insane like it's literally ridiculous how much stronger these guys are and it's almost this is why i know a couple people had said you know maybe just get rid of everything like i literally might just use my gems and just delete every single hero in here and just put everything into the mythicals and this is what the problem that i was saying is going to happen with this game because i have these two so i i mean where are they go i have these two here so i could just basically use all of my legendary pieces that i get from that and just upgrade them all to mythical and i'd probably have a full mythical team you know what i mean and it's like that's basically what every team is going to look like in the arena and it's going to get boring stupid fast because everyone's going to have the same five heroes you know what i mean so i don't know how i feel about that it's something I'm considering. I mean, I might just say screw it, and just, but I'm going to lose a lot of levels from my my uh, what is it? What is it? Front? I wouldn't say front line <laughs> from the Legion bonus, but it's like at the same time, these guys are so much stronger than anyone else, and they have tactic bonuses that we could use. Say, look at this. Like I could just put these guys in the team, and I'll get a bunch more attack, and that's it. Like it's like they're just ridiculously higher leveled than the legendaries. Um, Mythicals are supposed to be a little better. You know, they're supposed to be better, have maybe an extra skill or two. Like, that's usually what most games do. This game decided that it was okay to make literally heroes double and triple the power of the, the tier before them. So I don't, I don't know how they, how they thought that was a good idea, but that's where we're at right now. So I'm hoping it doesn't go that direction because if it does, honestly, I'll probably just delete everyone that I have completely and waste a bunch of gems. I'll just literally delete this whole row right here, all this. I have all these heroes, and I'll just put all of my EXP into a full mythical team and just say, screw it. You know what I mean? If that's the way this game is, and that's the way the game is, it's just kind of, it's it's rough. I wish they could, I wish they would not lower the power of the mythicals, but upgrade the power of everyone else just so that they can at least be useful and competitive in other areas of the game all right so yeah if you guys have any questions feel free let me know how you guys feel about it i mean if you guys are getting frustrated if you guys stop playing and you only watch because i make videos like i mean let me know i mean i'm fine with 
coming up with new ways and things to do i'll find a new game like i don't care um but i i do like this game and even if i stop making videos for it i still want to play it you know what i mean i'm still going to auto it every day i'm still going to do that because it doesn't take up a lot of my time i literally log into this game for five minutes like funny enough eternal evolution takes up more of my day than this game does and that's because there's too many like stupid buttons to click <laughs> so that, that game takes up more time in my day but this one it's it's i literally just put it on auto while i go to work like i'll drive to work and i'll put my thing on auto and throw my tablet in my bag and it'll just sit in my bag the whole way and for an hour it grinds <laughs> my hour drive to work it just grinds out my uh, levels for me so i don't even play the game that much I, it's funny i I log in to do things and beat things and do like the armor upgrades but that's about it um yeah either way you guys let me know let me know if there's something you guys want from this game uh maybe somebody will listen all right and as always, like, share, subscribe. It is great for the channel. Uh, I would like to see more of some of these heroes and some of the good things that happen. So let's see what happens. Maybe they'll fix it, all right? So this is the fun times and upgrades in God's Raid. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and you guys take care.